Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at how Mapden's digital mapping platform can be applied to the grocery and retail space. Specifically, we'll be discussing how digital maps can reduce friction in the omni-channel shopping journey, as well as improve the experience while in store. Right now, we're looking at a digital map of the grocery store embedded within a mobile application. As a shopper, I'm going to go ahead and add a few items to my cart that I'd like to try today. I'm going to get some milk and some bagels. And then I probably want to get a little bit of cheese as well and some shaving cream, some soap, and some toothpaste. Great. So now that I've identified all the items I'm looking to shop for today, I can take a look at my cart and view the items that I'm going to be picking out, as well as the total amount of money it's going to charge me for the trip. As I walk into the store, I can see the promotions that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and see what promotions are available in the store today. So diapers, I don't need any diapers today, so I'm not going to get those. I could use some tomato sauce, so I'm going to add that to my list. I could use spaghettini, I'll add that to my list as well. And Coke's on sale. I'll grab some Coke. And lastly, let's see what's over here. I don't need any pumpkin seed bread, so I'm not going to grab that today. So now my items have been updated with what I came in to grab, as well as the promotional items that are available. So I, now I'm going to start shopping. So I'm going to click Start Shopping. And I'm immediately taken to the item that's closest to me within the store. So I can go ahead and pick this item once I've arrived at the, at the area and I'm gonna pick it. And as I pick items, the map is going to reorient itself to help me understand where I am in the store as well as where I'm gonna be heading next. So next I'm gonna grab my milk, then I'm gonna get my cheese and the map has now reoriented itself to help me find my Coke. Again, I'm gonna help, it's helping me to find my pasta sauce. And then I'm gonna grab my toothpaste, my shaving cream, my body wash. And lastly, I'm gonna grab my spaghettini. And now I've collected all of my items, I can go ahead and check out. So how are these maps and the associated pathing for shoppers created? Well, within our backend system, our team will start with a floor plan of the existing store. They'll add on the digital layers. And what they end up with is a digital representation of the physical space. Each individual polygon or inventory location within the store has an external ID attached to it. This means that our mapping tool is syncing with the existing inventory management tool at this store. That way, when any information associated with this external ID changes, it will automatically change within this map as well. So for example, if GR02SO3 changed from granola bars to crackers in the inventory management system at this store, it would reflect on the map as well. And lastly, all of the inv individual points of interest on the map have a pathing network associated to them. And that is created automatically in the back end of our system, allowing shoppers to navigate and use the tool within your mobile app application.